They said I couldn't camp this map. They said it's just too small and compacted. But you know what I told them? Your boy is nice. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. <laughs> it's your boy Jimmy Dean here again. And what I got for you today, you know it. More camping like a boss. And today we're on that map, Chop Shop. And you know what I love to do when I get on this map. <laughs> That's right, chop them up. <laughs> Run up and get done up. Look at that. It didn't take your boy no longer than 30 seconds to get in this camping spot and lay two people down already. Look at it. Don't run up on your boy. Look. Look at me. Keep my head on the swivel. I love this spot. You know I love camping beside a flag. Or part of the objective. Because your boy puts in work. Not only can I be a score streak assassin. <laughs> oh. A gunslinger. But I can also be that defensive MVP. Look at your boy. Got my streaks already. Let's get out of here. And make a rain on these boys. As I hit that bloodthirsty. Real quick. Let's drop this bomb around. Now, people, a lot of people ask, do I have specific places to place my bomb around? The answer is no. I just go with the floor of the game. Like, this is my first time getting it. I dropped it across B, see what I can do when your boy got one. It is what it is. I go by the mini map and the floor of the game. And sometimes I actually use my bomb and run to push the flow towards me. But look, see how I got in this drone? If you didn't notice, your boy flew over the map and drop back in. As long as you drop back in in time <laughs> and put it work like that, your uh, assault drone won't explode. So don't worry about it being out of range. That's how you get from coast to coast on this map. Let's go. You know your boys about that action. Now look, I'm still maintaining the stand in the middle for the most part. That's where the action flows at in this map. No matter what. It's a three lane map. Down this left side, down that right side where I camp at, or down the middle. Simple and plain. Classic Call of Duty map. Now look at your boy. Now this is where I camp in this room. Look. Oh, Grandmaster got laid down. And I got my Warbird already. Kingslayer. But look, the key to this is keeping your head on the swivel. I love that line of sight in this one. Look. Oh, your boy did swivel fast enough. But don't worry. I'll get back in there and put in some serious work for you. Let's go. Now the key to these small compacted maps like this is find a congested area that the enemy loves to run down. Like even if I play kill confirmed on here, the enemy always flows down this pathway no matter what. Look at this. Oh, your boy's on one. Another key to using this camping spot, which I think is important. You must have a high fire rate weapon. Like right now, I'm using that Inferno. That Battle 27 Inferno. This thing spits flames. If you haven't seen my best weapons in the game video, oh man, I'm telling you now. I'll leave a link at the bottom, but this gun is nasty. But in this area, when I'm camping here, I like to use the Inferno or that HBR A3 Insanity. I even use that Chicanery from time to time. And probably that RIP. I like to be splitting flames when I'm down this map. Seriously. This is how your boy puts in work. Now you see me keeping my head on the swivel. Look what happens when they run up. It's congested. Oh, they got your boy slipping shot in the back. Had nothing to do with the camping style. Your boy was trying to get out of there so he can drop this bomb run. And you look, see this time I'm dropping down the middle. Your boy is just experimenting. We're still in the first half of this match. I'm trying to see how this flow is going. And by dropping this bomb run right now, I'm pretty sure that I've created a flow where they're flowing down my camping site. They coming over there, they want to kill me, they're expecting me to be there. If I ain't there, trust me, they're going to try to go for B. That's the name of the game. They're going to try to take out the man that's taking them out. And if I ain't there, oh yeah, they feel like they're going to have their way. That's just the illusion you create as a camper. Especially when they come back looking for you and you didn't slightly move to one side or the other. Oh, look at that. Told you. They're going to come. Feed the beast, baby. Let's go. Look at this. Told you, I'm standing in the middle. I'm playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. Look at this dude. He thought he was safe. Oh, man. Your boy's throwing darts out here with this drone. 
come on. Time's running out. Look at the lead we didn't build up. This is camping at its finest right here. Oh, -ho! high fire rate. Congested map. I'm telling you, look. Now I'm playing smart. They know I'm here. Look. Oh, King Slayer. Man, they do not want it with your boy. Let's get into this second half. Yes, we ended that first round 31 and 2. Let's go. Your boy ain't playing around. Got my drone already. Now let me show you how to camp this side of the map too. Your boy is versatile. This is the spot. Especially if you use your streaks in the right way too once you're over here. Look, flank around. <laughs> Get laid down. Now after experimenting with the first two bomb runs, this is what your boy is going to do this time. Hold on. Airspace crowded. I hate when it says that. Always trying to slow your boy down. Now look, I'm over here. You see me on the mini map. So I'm going to push the flow towards me. Either I figure when I drop this bomb run, either I'm going to take out their whole team or I'm going to make them spawn and run towards me so you boy can put on some serious gun work. Look at that. Triple kill with that bomb run this time. Look, told you. Push the flow towards me. This is how you grind. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, oh man, your boy is nice. Look, I'm on the ruthless that quick. Let's go. Getting that drone. Why waste my time sitting there trying to get gun shoes? I know a lot of people are like, oh, get the gun shoes, get the gun shoes. Listen here. Your boy is an assassin. Whether score streaks or gun skill. I don't care how I get the kills, hey, as long as I get them. You can't tell me that if you get a DNA bomb and you get 30 kills in a row with your gun and then you die, you're like, man, yes, I love that feeling. Yes, the DNA hype is real. I feel all that. But when your boy goes on a monster streak and I get a 77 kill streak, which I have done, I mean, I don't know, 30 kills, 77 kills in a row. I mean, you can't tell me you wouldn't love that. Because I know I do. <laughs> Let's get back into this gameplay. Oh, as he got melted. Oh, man, I'm telling you now. This Inferno is a beast. You see me use it at range. You see me use it up close. I'm telling you now, this gun is sick. Look, and I got a paladin. The game is pretty much out of reach. These boys can't hang with us. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention, I am playing with Sega Mad Raj himself and Mr. Random, aka RX Kappa. But look, your boy just jumped in this pile and just for fun. I had the whole Make It Rain set up before I jumped in this lobby, and your boy was like, "Screw it, we gonna make it do what it do." I really don't like using the pile in this map, but I may not get a lot of kills in this one right now. But your boy does use it effectively. This is called the scare tactic. Even though I may not be getting a lot of kills, they are not attempting to capture any flags whatsoever. They are hiding, laying in little corners, tucked off, got their binkies in their mouth, because they're scared because the boogeyman is outside. <laughs> so, if they want to sit back and hide from the boogeyman, that's fine for me. Because my team is going to continue to rack up these points and secure this W. That simple. You always got to look at the bright side of the game. Like I said, I didn't get a lot of kills, but look what I just did to the score. Oh man, this game is definitely out of reach. Now you just boys going to sit back and play games. Look, oh, see how the game do you? Man, I'm telling you what, it's like they have something against being a beast. If you're a beast in this game, they'll let you beast a match or two here, a match or two there. And they always throw in that one either bad connection match or they always seem to find a way to spawn the enemy all behind you when you just looked over there and no one was there I'm just telling you what man. that's how the game is I guess adapt or get done up like that man it's a shame but it is what it is you guys advanced warfare is coming to an end but your boy is hyped because black ops 3 the beta is coming Oh man, what are we like two weeks away? Two and a half weeks? Your boy cannot wait. Especially since I'm on this PS4 and your boy will have exclusive content for you. 
ASAP. When I say ASAP, I mean ASAP. I might even live stream as soon as it comes out. We'll see. But that's it for now, man. I'm out. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Your boy is